Dude, look at all of them right there. Look. Look. Holy crap. That's a freaking boatload of them. Got him. Yep. Oh, shoot. He went around a doggone branch. Oh, man, he got off. So today, I'm going to do a catch and cook king salmon. This is going to be uh, the king salmon that I actually caught yesterday in Pulaski, New York. And I'm going to do a pasta dish with this. Um, we'll try something a little different. I'm going to do like a, a pasta nest dish where I'm going to use some uh, spaghetti. And I'm going to bake that into like a pasta nest and I'm going to put the salmon and the sauces inside this pasta nest and bake it in the oven. Here's hoping it comes out good. So what I'm actually going to use is I'm going to use a Ronzoni Super Greens thin spaghetti pasta. Give it some color, a little interest and at the same time as usual keep it as healthy as possible. I'm only taking a couple of small pieces of the salmon that was caught. The salmon was huge. I think that when I cut these off of it was like a 36 pound king salmon. So I'm only gonna use probably almost like a pound of that uh, for this pasta dish. So what I decided to do was, I'm actually gonna split it. I'm going to saute in butter. Um, an olive oil, half of what I have here, and then the other half, I think I'm going to lightly coat it in a pan coat, and I am going to pan fry that. So I'm going to do some of it sauteed and some of it pan fried and layer this up in the pasta dish. But both pieces are going to be uh, seasoned with some pepper, some black pepper, some of the uh, jalapeno Himalayan sea salt that I like so much. Get that Himalayan sea salt jalapeno mixture on there. And I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. On both. And a little bit of the herb of Provence on both. And I'm going to make sure they're coated with the seasoning on both pieces. And I'm going to then prepare to do the saute piece first. And after that, I will do the pan fry pieces. So first things first is I am going to pan sear in this butter and olive oil, the first half of the salmon. salmon. I am going to dip in this panko like I said. 
mixed up some egg and coat the salmon in the egg. And then if I coat this in the egg, I will roll it in the panko and then pan fry that. Now I will be putting this salmon pieces in the panko. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just lightly coat it. So I had a little bit of a coating on it. So now I will pan fry these little salmon pieces that were dipped in the, the panko. I actually uh, am using the leftover olive oil and butter plus a little bit more olive oil to pan fry these pieces. And that's the uh, olive oil and butter that was left over from the first pieces. So next what I'm going to do is I am going to prepare the pasta. So I'm going to prepare the pasta by mixing the pasta with some egg and Parmesan cheese. So I take the pasta, put it in a bowl, I mix up the egg, get the egg in there. and mix it all up in there, get that egg to coat that pasta. I wanna thoroughly coat that pasta with that egg. Make sure it's coated well. And then I'm going to take this shaved Parmesan cheese, crumble it up, stick it up in there, and get that Parmesan cheese in this pasta. Mix that all up. Now I sprayed this cast iron pan with some olive oil spray. And then I'm taking the pasta and I'm sticking it in this pan and making it like a bird's nest. So I'm actually going around the edges and pulling it up on the edges. So you get this kind of a nesting effect in there. Make sure that cheese spread around there. Bring it all up the sides. Bring it all up the sides so that I get a nice nesting effect. So 
So I'm just gonna give you a nice close shot of this pasta in the pan. And I'm going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees. So in the dish, I'm also going to have some mushrooms and yellow squash. And now I'll just put a little bit of olive oil over the mushrooms and squash and sprinkle some herb de Provence. And a little bit of salt. And last but not least, I'll spray these mushrooms and this squash with a little bit of garlic juice. So halfway through the cooking, I am placing the mushrooms and the squash in the pasta. And I'm going to let that cook while the pasta continues to cook. Now I am going to cover this pan-fried salmon with some fresh mozzarella and melt that, put that in the oven, let that melt down. I am going to warm up the Alfredo sauce. sauteed salmon in it and I'm going to warm that up and that is going to be put in our pasta bowl. So here we have my spaghetti pasta nest that I made with the king salmon I caught yesterday in Pulaski, New York. And what it consists of is I had the pasta and I baked it into this bird's nest in the oven after cooking it. I made an Alfredo sauce with pieces of the salmon baked in, cooked in. The salmon that I had sauteed with some olive oil and some butter. On top of that is a marinara, a marinara sauce with some panko coated pan fried salmon. I have some yellow squash and some mushrooms and also Parmesan cheese baked into the spaghetti. Let's see what it tastes like. Spaghetti is nice and crisp and crunchy. It's 
Let's get some of that salmon. Mmm. That salmon and that Alfredo sauce. Very good. Get a mm, another piece of that salmon. Oh, that salmon's really good. Sam is good. It does have um, a fish flavor to it. It's a wild caught salmon, so it's going to have some fish flavor to it. And let's try one of these panko coated salmon nuggets. Wow. The salmon nuggets are very, very good. A little combination of some salmon nuggets, marinara. And Alfredo sauce. Delicious. Very good. All mixed together, it's just really, really tasty. Okay. I'm going to finish this whole thing. Just want you to know that. I am not a chef, I'm just a fisherman. And this is another dreaded fisherman's catch and cook. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.